I think one of the things that's really special about this visualization is that it's showing this, this new and really complex part of our model, which is atmospheric chemistry. One of the issues, I think, with atmospheric chemistry is that it's so complicated and it changes so rapidly on a short scale. We're not necessarily able to observe it all the time, everywhere. So that's where models come in. By, by merging models and satellite data, we get a much fuller picture of what's going on throughout the atmosphere. We can see gases that we couldn't see with satellites alone. We can see the parts of the atmosphere column that we really need to know, like the nose level contributions of pollutants that we need to communicate to uh, policymakers to protect people's health. So what we're seeing is a visualization of the composition of the atmosphere as it relates to air pollution. There are hundreds of chemicals that all contribute to those uh, pollutants. And you can see in this visualization is really what the computer model does. So like underneath, there are hundreds of chemicals. They all react with each other. And it's a huge dating pool and all of the chemicals date each other all the time. So even though these chemicals, some of them are present only at these very dilute concentrations, they're actually quite important. So we have to really track all of these different molecules to be able to get at those pieces that people really need, the pieces of information that affect human health. We rely on computer models to gain additional insights on where is it formed, where is it destroyed, what are the mechanisms and how it is formed, but also how can, can it be mitigated. There's all this interesting stuff going on all around us that we're not necessarily aware of. Um, and so this, this simulation is really just trying to illustrate what's going on with those gases, but by showing so many of them, illustrate how complex their interactions are and how many things are going on, even if we're not aware of them all the time. Ten years ago, we couldn't do anything like this. So this is really a revolutionary type of approach to be able to combine the satellite and the model. Uh, and the thing that impresses me the most about visualizations like this is just that we can do it. Just that with all of this complexity, all of these kinds of things being transported in the atmosphere, that this actually works. And when we compare it against observations, it actually looks really, really good in a lot of places. This is a really exciting new frontier for us.